Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you how to make this turtle on your silhouette. It's very easy. Uh, this is just three layers of vinyl. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. Actually, before we move forward, let me just say if this video is interesting to you or helpful, go ahead and like the video, but also subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos. I try to come out with a new one once a week or so. It doesn't always happen. But when you're subscribed, you'll get the notification when the new videos come out. Uh, also, join me on Facebook. We have a huge collaborative on Facebook, about actually about 2 million members now, I think we're at. Um, tons of groups, everything from large format to cricket, silhouette, uh, sublimation, epoxy, everything that you can imagine for this craft. I will link in the description cricket and silhouette for beginners. It's not all beginners, it's all skill levels. It's a fantastic group, friendly, helpful, knowledgeable. Um, we'd love to have you. I give away files, my designs all the time there. Um, so join us there. So let's get started. Let's uh, decrease the size of this. I want to keep this up. I don't want to get rid of it all together because I want you to see how this turtle comes together and how it turns into that. So let's go over here and we'll grab, I uploaded images of the um, vinyl that I use as well. So this is three layers. Now the vinyl that I used is a layer that this is the top layer. Okay, so this is a holographic. This is a glitter, it's the middle layer, and this is another holographic that is the base layer. Now this part is important. So this glitter, ordinarily self-adhesive glitter, uh, has to be a top layer because it has texture to it. Now there are several brands that uh, make a glitter vinyl that is completely smooth. And that's important because when it's completely smooth and it has zero texture, you can make it a middle layer or a base layer and put other vinyl on top of it, okay? So that's what I have done here. Um, I will, like I said, I'm gonna link all of these in the description. I'll link these three vinyls all came from MI Vinyl World. Uh, they have a promo code for 10 off of 30 right now, so you can get them super cheap. I'm going to link the promo code and then I'll link each of the vinyls direct to the vinyl so that you can find the exact ones I used if that's what you want. Um, and then I'll also link the a link to this turtle just because he's cute. So let's go ahead and get started. This is, it's so easy. I, I'm not trying to be wordy here, but honestly, the actual making of this is just super duper simple and it comes out so neat. So what you want, here's your turtle. And you can do this with any design. Obviously it has to be, you know, Mandela type design like this, but it, you know, it doesn't have to be this one. This one's just cute. Um, so go over here, go to your trace panel, which is up here. Open trace panel, select trace area. Trace it. Now you're gonna go to trace outer edge. You don't want all that inside information, just the outer edge. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna make it dark. Like that. Okay, and then make that a lighter color. So that's layer, oops, let me set that to the back. Oops, set it to the front, I mean. Bring the front of layer. So that's layer one and layer two, okay? So you can see that. I want to actually change that color so that it doesn't blend in with the background. I'm going to change this because that is actually the green layer. So I'm going to change that to green so you can see. Okay, so that's layer one and layer two. Okay, so on here, you can't see it right now so much, but that top layer is this holographic right here. The middle layer that we just made is this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make that base layer. So we're going to select that again. And then I'm going to go to our offset panel over here on the right-hand side. The second star up, click on that. Click offset, and I know I want this right around 0.11. I'm going to click apply, and then what I want to do is I want to get rid of all of this inner 
information. So I'm going to right click or left, left click it, then right click it. Release compound path. Move this over. You can get rid of all of these. Okay, and then this is the black layer. And that's all there is to it. It is really just that simple. So that's that. And that is that. And that is how you make these turtles. So easy and just, they look awesome. Um, so I am going to show you, I mean, if, you, if you're, you know, if, if you know how to layer vinyl, that's it. That's all you really need. I'll link everything in the description for you. Um, if, if you do not know how to layer vinyl, if this isn't something that you have done before, stick with me and I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like when I break these down um, and put them together back into the turtle. So, uh, and I will tomorrow or the next day, as soon as I have time, I will make, um, I'll actually cut one of these and I'll make a video of it physically being put together, physically being layered, just so that you can see how that uh, works. But for now, this will show you how to, um, how to build those layers. So this, I want to send that to back and now I'm going to go to my modify panel and I'm going to click divide. And I get rid of this. And so you can see now that is the top layer. You would cut that out of that vinyl. And you can see over here, see how, same thing. So right click, group that. That's layer one. Okay, now this is layer two. This is your green glitter. Like I said, it has to be that, you know, specific one um, or one of these specific ones. Send that to the back. Uh, that has a smooth surface to it. I'm going to divide that, click over that, select all of this, group. It's that, layer one and layer two. Okay, and I'll take this over here. And now this is the final layer. This is the base layer. Okay, so that is all there is to it. Um, and then I'll just show you for the sake of showing you. So just for the sake of showing you, um, if you are not somebody who knows how to layer self-adhesive vinyl, it is very simple. And like I said, I will make a, an actual physical video of it but this is how. So you take your transfer tape, you have these all cut and weeded, you lay your transfer tape. Sorry, get rid of this so that I have room to show you. Actually, I can get rid of this now, you don't need that anymore. Uh, lay your transfer tape over this sheet and pick it up off its carrier. Lay it down on this, this will fit perfect. Okay, and now you Pull your transfer tape up with both of these two on it. Lay it down on this the final layer. And now at this point you have two options. If you're not ready to use it right away, you can pull your transfer tape off of it and leave the turtle on the uh, carrier sheet backing, the bottom carrier sheet that was on the black. Or if you are ready to use it and transfer it, you would pull the whole turtle up off of that carrier sheet with your transfer tape and go put it on whatever you're putting it on. And that's really all there is to it. And it's a simple project, but it, it ends up looking super professional. So um, super fun. Like I said, I will link in the description um, the Facebook group. Make sure you join us. It is such a great group. Uh, you'll love it there. So I'll link our Facebook group. I will link uh, the three vinyls that I used as well as that promo code. Uh, I will link this turtle. 
And um, that's it. If you have any questions at all, you can ask them in the video description here or, uh, or in the whatever the comment section on YouTube, or you can ask me right in the group. You're always welcome to ask me anything you need help with. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.